Hello all, welcome to InfraWorld. The road network of India is expanding faster than ever before. Bengaluru Dharmapuri new highway is one of the newest and most ambitious project in South India. Main goal of this project is to connect Karnataka and Tamil Nadu more efficiently than ever. Bengaluru Dharmapuri highway road is designed to boost regional trade, logistics and tourism between Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. It's not just a road, it's a lifeline for industries, travelers and the economy. Bengaluru, India's IT capital, generate massive daily traffic towards Tamil Nadu. The route from Karnataka to Tamil Nadu, passing through Hosur, Krishnagiri and Dharmapuri, carries thousands of vehicles every day. It's a part of the busy North-South National Highway Corridor, often faces heavy congestion. The new upcoming highway will change the pressure on NH44 and create a faster, smoother and more efficient link between the two states. Let's take a closer look at how this new highway is shaping the future of southern connectivity. The idea for new Bengaluru Tarvapuri Highway first took a shape in 2020. By then, traffic on Bengaluru Salem Road along NH44 had already exceeded sustainable limits. The stretch between Osur and Krishnagari had become a major bottleneck with heavy congestion throughout the day. The freight trucks, long distance buses and daily commuters all struggle for spaces on the same lines. The result was slower travel, longer delays and raising the logistics costs for industries and transporters. The National Highway Authority of India decided a new corridor. The goal was simple, to reduce the traffic load and support an industrial corridor in both the states. Bengaluru is one of the India's busiest cities. Dharmapuri comes on a crucial Tamil Nadu route. The highway also supports India's Bharat Mala Pariyojana Phase 2 network. Under this scheme, the key economic corridors are being built across the country. It will eventually integrate with other southern expressways connecting Salem, Chennai and Coimbatore. Feasibility studies were completed by end of 2021 with the design approvals. Land acquisition and environmental clearances took some time but are now progressing rapidly. The proposed Bengaluru Dharmapuri Highway is approximately 150 km. It begins from outskirts of Bengaluru near Electronic City, Neraluru region. From here, it heads southeast, entering Tamil Nadu near Osur. The highway continues through the Rayakote, Palakode, and reaches Dharmapuri. This alignment was chosen to avoid heavy populated areas and minimize the environmental impact. The new Bengaluru Dharmapuri Highway route passes through the several agricultural belts and scenic hilly terrains. The highway will have six lines in total, three on each side. Service roads and bypass structures will also build for local traffic. National Highway Authority of India has proposed multiple tolls plaza at different intervals for revenue collection. The highway also includes dedicated track space and emergency response units. There will be at least two rest areas and refueling zones with food courts and amenities. The design standards are in line with Bharat Mala corridor specifications. The alignment for new highway will connect several industries clusters in and around the Osu. Dharmapuri, known for granite and agriculture, will get direct access to Bengaluru markets. The highway will also serve an alternative route for Bengaluru Salem freight transport. Once complete, it will significantly reduce the pressure on NH44. The travel time between Bengaluru and Dharmapuri will drop from 4 hours to just 2 hours. The Bengaluru Dharmapuri Highway is being developed by the National Highway Authority of India under Hybrid Identity Model or HAM. In this model, private developers take a charge of building and maintaining the highway for a set concession period, while the government shares the part of the project cost and ensure proper oversight. This balanced approach combines public accountability with private efficiency, ensuring high quality construction and long term maintenance. The estimated cost of this project is around 6,800 crores, with nearly 1,500 crores are allocated for land acquisition and composition. This new highway is planned as a six lane access control corridor and it is designed for speed up to 120 km per hour to ensure smooth and safe travel. National Highway Authority of India has included grade separators, underpasses and flyovers at key junctions, creating a faster, safer and more efficient link between Bengaluru and Dharmapuri. 
The project will also feature a smart traffic monitor system for real-time safety and management. CCTV cameras, emergency call boxes and variable message signboards will be installed along the entire stretch to assist the drivers and improve the response time. Select segment will have solar powered lighting for energy efficiency while advanced drainage systems and green median belt are included to ensure environmental balance and sustainable design. The construction uses RCC payment technology for durability. To reduce the pollution, tree plantation will be done along both the sides. The National Highway Authority of India also plans to plant over 1 lakh sampling along the corridor to enhance the greenery and reduce the project's carbon footprint. Special measures are being introduced near forest stretches to ensure safety wildlife movement, including dedicated underpass and eco-friendly fencing, making highway both environmentally responsible and sustainable. The highway is designed to include underpasses, dedicated animal crossing to ensure smooth traffic flow and protect wildlife habitats. The local labor and material are being prioritized to support nearby communities and boost the regional economy. Overall, the project is expected to create around 5,000 direct and indirect jobs, contributing to both infrastructure growth and livelihood development along that corridor. Once operational, the highway will be maintained through the automated toll system. RFID-based toll collections will be ensured fast and contactless payments. Bengaluru Dharmapuri New Highway will transform connectivity in southern India. It will directly link Karnataka's industrial capital and Tamil Nadu's central district together. This means better movement of goods, faster trade and reduce the cost. The farmer around Raikote and Palakode will get quicker access to markets. Industrial cluster near Osur will benefit from better transport logistics. Truck congestion on NH44 will come down drastically. The new highway will also decongest the Osur town traffic. For Bengaluru residents, weekend travel to Tamil Nadu will become much easier. Tourism will get big push too. Dharmapuri district, known for organical falls, will attract more visitors. The reduced travel time will make it quick gateway from Bengaluru. The local transport companies will save both time and fuel. Travel time between Bengaluru and Salem may reduce by up to 90 minutes. The project will also bring a uniform development to rural belts along the route. Real estate around Osur and Dharmapuri has already started gaining the value. The government expects a new investment worth 2,000 crores in surrounding region. With efficient traffic management and control access, road safety will improve. Accident-prone stretches of NH44 will see reduced pressure. The Bengaluru-Dharmapuri corridor will also serve an emergency alternate route. During maintenance or closure on NH44, it will act as a backup connectivity lane. Overall, it's a classic case of how infrastructure can boost both commerce and comfort. The government aims to make this model project for other interstate corridors. In future, the same design will be replicated across southern India. The corridor is expected to handle more than 60,000 vehicles per day by 2030. Long-distance bus services will also be rerouted through this faster route. In simple words, it's a highway built for future. Current status and timeline The Bengaluru Dharmapuri Highway is currently in an active construction phase. The work officially began in mid-2023 after final land acquisitions were completed. By early 2024, groundwork, soil testing and bridge piling act started on multiple sections. Once construction finishes, the developer will maintain the road for 15 years. The project is expected to create more than 8,000 direct jobs during the construction phase. Even the signage, safety barriers are being made locally under the Make in India policy. The project has faced a minor delays due to monsoon and logistic issues. However, the overall progress remains on track as per NHA's revised schedule. The highway is expected to be operational by late 2026 or early 2027 if the work continues at the same speed. Once operational, the Bengaluru Dharmapuri Highway will become a part of larger network. It will connect seamlessly with upcoming Bengaluru Peripheral Ring Road. This means truck from Tumkuru or Mysore can directly reach Dharmapuri without entering Bengaluru city. In future, it is expected to extend towards Chennai Bengaluru Industrial Corridor. The corridor will also connect to ports like Inor and Chennai for export movement. 
NHA has identified this as a high potential freight route for southern India. The route will likely be upgraded into an expressway standard by 2035. Dedicated EV charging zones and solar power lighting systems are planned. This highway could also support future electric freight mobility across Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. The Bengaluru Dharmapuri Highway is not just an infrastructure project. It's a symbol of how roads can transform regional economies. Thousands of small business will grow along this route once it opens. Real estate value in towns like Osur, Ancheti, Palakode have already gone up. Tourism, trade, employment, all three sectors will grow hand in hand. When it opens, this highway won't just connect two cities, it will connect people, progress and future of South India. So this is Infra World bringing mega projects of India closer to you. Do subscribe the channel for latest updates of Indian Infra projects.